If you had told me a month ago that Pokemon was going to be getting a live action anime movie, I would have instantly pictured Ash Ketchum starting his journey with Pikachu on his shoulder, trying to collect all eight gym badges in order to enter the Pokemon League, which he will inevitably lose for the sake of a second movie. Or maybe he fights against Team Rocket or Mewtwo for the billionth time. But instead, we get a spin off with a talking Pikachu who is apparently good at solving mysteries. And my god, I think this has the potential to be the first good live action anime movie. And I know for a fact that this movie is going to kill it in the box office, and I'll explain why later in the video. However, I'm not without my concerns. For example, I'm extremely excited that Pikachu is voiced by Ryan Reynolds, who we all know killed it as Deadpool. So right away, based on the trailer and this voice role, it seems that they're going for a comedic and witty approach, which I think is a great idea. But considering this is a Pokemon movie and it's likely going to be rated PG, it's not like we're going to be getting any mature humor, so his role is definitely limited. I also want to address the realistic looking Pokemon, and I honestly would have preferred if they just went with what they did for the game trailer and made the render more cartoonish. Cause now that they look like real animals, they're going to be limited with how gruesome the battles can be. Again, they can't go too far for a friendly Pokemon battle if it's going to look like animal abuse, which they could have easily avoided if they just didn't make them look so real. Also, we wouldn't have ended up with a nightmare inducing Mr. Mime. And I am absolutely not saying that they don't look amazing, cause honestly they look unbelievable. If I had known in advance that they were going for a realistic approach, I would not have thought that it would have turned out this well. Clearly, they're trying to appeal to an older audience with the witty comedic approach and realism, but make it tame enough that it will still appeal to a younger audience. And as a marketing student, I would usually say that their strategy and positioning of trying to appeal to everyone would make them appeal to no one, but in Pokemon's case, this is what will make them kill it in the box office. You need to remember that Pokemon has been out for two decades, influencing so many generations through their anime, video games, cards, and more. I personally remember waking up every morning before school to catch an out-of-order episode of Pokemon. That shit was my childhood. And I guarantee you there are kids currently doing the same thing I did. So in this case, trying to appeal to your entire market isn't a bad idea since we all already have a vested interest in Pokemon and it has deeply affected so many people of varied ages. Just look at the extent to which Pokemon Go blew up and how it was played by literally everyone. Now that's why I think it'll kill it in the box office, but that doesn't mean it will be good. Directed by Rob Letterman, the director of Undertale, and we all know how that went. At the same time, it's written by Nicole Perlman, who did an amazing job with Guardians of the Galaxy. So again, this can really go either way. After watching the trailer, I still have hope for the first ever good live action anime series, but at the same time, I personally can't be too optimistic considering how many times I've been let down in the past. Any good studio can make a good trailer, but the question is, can it make a good movie? Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you excited, concerned, optimistic? But anyway guys, let's jump into YouTube's favorite Q&A series, Briggs Q. Hello and welcome to Briggs Q, YouTube's favorite Q&A series if you didn't already know. My camera's gonna die, so we have time for five questions today. First question is by Brendan Burtz. What is the better anime, Shrek or Cory in the House? But seriously, what is your favorite shonen? Like, rank your top five or four. Um, clearly, Shrek is the best shonen anime. Um, but actually, my top four favorite shonen anime, One Piece, Kenichi the Mighty's Disciple, um, the first arc, or the first arc up to the end of the Soul Society arc of Bleach. Yeah, that's top three. I'll leave it like that. Which is by Iza Ghoul. Anime recommendations. I recommend you watch Kenichi the Mind's Disciple, which I said was one of my favorite shonen anime. I also recommend you watch Steins Gate and Great Teacher Onizuka. Again, just anime that pop into my head that I know people may not have already seen that are honestly in my top 5 favorite anime of all time. Again, Steins Gate, Great Teacher Onizuka, and Kenichi the Mind's Disciple. Next question is by Comic Castle. Do you think the Lion Sin can beat Whitebeard from One Piece? Um, that is a very, very weird comparison, but I am going to say that Whitebeard would kick Escanor's ass 99% of the time, except for that one minute when Escanor is pretty much invincible and his power cannot be measured. Next question. Sir Boop asks, what's your favorite day of the week? And most people would say Friday because it's leading into the weekend. I'm going to say Sunday. Why is that? Well, Monday through Friday, I'm, I'm in class, I'm working assignments, studying for tests, editing for Nux, working on YouTube videos. Friday and Saturday, I'm pretty much doing the same stuff, minus the class part, except for Friday and Saturday night, I'm probably going out with friends, spending time with my girlfriend and such, and then Sunday comes along. I've just been super busy all week, and Sunday, I wake up, go play football, come home, I'm super tired, I literally just relax in bed and watch football all day. It's a chill day, and it's just like my rest day. I love Sundays. Sundays are the absolute best. Final question, do you think Meliodas' sacred treasure has more abilities? It is very possible. I feel like it probably has more abilities that we don't know of yet, but who knows? I also want to add to last Briggs Q, someone asked who my favorite Pokemon is, and I want to conclude my final answer is Swampert, but at the same time, 
Charmander holds a special place in my heart. And I think I think I said Agumon or something was my favorite Digimon. I don't really I'm not really a huge Digimon fan. I looked up some Digimon. And I realized Patamon is my favorite Digimon. I remember I watched a movie and he was pretty cool. Anyway guys, that is the end of this video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell to never miss a video, and just like that, I will see you guys all next time, dudes. Shinpaku.